This is a CT scan, a brain CT scan, in fact. Radiologists are the physicians that use these kinds of scans to look inside our bodies and detect abnormalities. For example, in this image, they would look and detect the massive bleeding you can see at the left side of the image. However, not all abnormalities are so easy to detect. For example, in this case, you would have to look very carefully to detect the minute bleeding that is the cause of a stroke event. As you can imagine, detecting something like this might take a bit more time. But that is just a single image. A typical CT scan contains 300 images. Add to that two or three historical exams, add to that clinical information, and you soon find yourself drowning in data. And when it comes to critical conditions, if you can't detect the abnormality on time, a patient will lose his life. Our radiologists today have a work list with dozens of patients waiting to be diagnosed each moment. About 40% of them are flashing urgent, which means they have to be diagnosed in less than 45 minutes. In the last few years, the amount of imaging has increased dramatically. Today, more than 130 million CT and MRI scans are being done annually at the US alone. And while the amount of imaging has skyrocketed, the amount of radiologists has stayed about the same, which means that people today sometimes don't get treated on time just because nobody looked at the image fast enough. And radiologists are doing their best. They're actually doing a fantastic job with the tools they have today. The big problem is that the tools they have can't really support that much of an overload. In the last few years, CAD tools have been introduced. These tools that help the physician by detecting one disease in the human body. It's helpful to raise the quality of interpretation where it's a hard to see visually disease, like breast cancer. The big challenge is that in most radiology settings, we have thousands of medical conditions. So while each of these tools helps with quality, they can't really impact the efficiency of the day-to-day -day practice. So we built something different, something to enhance their day-to-day -day productivity. Our software analyzes each incoming scan and from the mounted of data detects the most relevant visual abnormalities. Then we can help the radiologist focus. We begin by highlighting the most urgent patients, those that really need to be diagnosed right now. Then we assist the radiologist through their reading by jumping in directly to the right slices, marking the locations, bringing forth the relevant information for the diagnosis. Not only that, but we aggregate all the insights we found into the clinical report to help him further streamline his work process. And the way we built our system, integrated into the workflow, integrated into the way they work today, is one of the key reasons radiologists love using our systems. Actually, for us, it gives quite a unique business advantage. Other companies in the field try to sell to the insurance companies by promising better quality. However, we can target directly the private radiology groups, which is most of the US market. They're getting paid per scan, and the dual advantage of quality and efficiency gives them a very clear ROI benefit, and for us, a faster go-to-market strategy. We understood that to be really impactful, we cannot suffice in detecting one disease. We have to go much broader than that, and our platform allows us to look at the whole anatomical area and detect abnormalities. It is based on a deep learning engine that has been trained on tens of thousands of medical exams. The big challenge is that deep learning has basically been designed to handle internet images. But patients are not just a batch of images. Patients have clinical information, patients have history, and all of this has to be incorporated. So we had to rework deep learning to find the abnormalities that would really interest physicians. To build such a new technology, we had to assemble a unique team of machine learning and radiology experts. The founding team is composed of four Talpiot graduates. I am Elad, the CEO. I come from the world of machine and deep learning. Michael, 
our CTO, is an expert in medical image processing. Guy, our VP R&D, has expertise in high-performance computing needed for these kinds of data. And Dr. Reniv is both a clinical researcher and a radiologist currently at Yale University Hospital. We're now working towards our first free betas to be installed in the next quarter in two of some of the top U.S. hospitals and one in the biggest Israel hospital. We're building a new way to analyze medical information and crystallize insights for radiologists. We want to help them focus on what truly matters in time to make a difference. Thank you.